plant growth regulators their physiological effects the different plant growth regulators are auxin gibberellin ethylene abscisic acid cytokinin now here there is auxin so auxin can initiate rooting in stem cuttings so if there is any stem cuttings like this auxin can initiate roots they can also promote flowering in pineapples auxin induce parthenocarpy for example in tomatoes that is tomatoes are produced without fertilization 2,4-D used as herbicide to kill dicotyledonous weeds. The apical bud inhibits the growth of lateral bud. That is called as apical dominance and that is caused due to auxin. So if we want the lateral buds to grow up, we have to cut the apical bud. So this process is called decapitation. And then the lateral buds will start to grow. Now the chemical names of auxins. Natural auxins are called indole 3 acetic acid or indole butyric acid. The synthetically made auxins, they are naphthalene acetic acid or 2,4-D. 2,4-dichlorophenoxyacetic acid. The plant growth regulator gibberellin. Gibberellin causes increase in the length of axis. For example, the length increase in grape stalks. So this is the grapes. So there are stalks in between. Now when the length of stalks are increased, it looks like this. It also makes fruits like apple to elongate. Gibberellin can delay senescence, that is old age, in plants. So the market period of fruits can be extended. Gibberellin increases the length of stems like sugarcane, so it increases the yield. Gibberellin promotes bolting in cabbages. Now this is a normal cabbage and this is a bolted cabbage where the stalks in between will get elongated. Cytokinin. Now, cytokinin is found in regions of rapid cell division, like new branches. Formation of roots. That is wherever cell division takes place. One cell divides into many wherever cell division takes place. That is due to cytokine. For example, in the root apex, means the tip of the roots, shoot buds. They promote lateral shoot growth like this. So they overcome apical dominance, like auxin hormone causes apical dominance. So cytokinin overcomes that apical dominance, so it promotes the lateral growth. Ethylene. Ethylene is a growth regulator that can be growth promoter as well as growth inhibitor also. So they can promote senescence, means they can promote old age in the plants 
and they can also lead to ripening of fruits. Ethylene causes seed germination. So they break the dormancy. So if any dormant seeds are there, they will be promoted to germinate. In that way, it's a growth promoter. Ethylene induces flowers in pineapple and mango plants. And etaphone is a source of ethylene. These are pineapple flowers. Now, abscisic acid is a growth inhibitor where they promote leaf fall and they also promote seed dormancy. So the seeds which is there, they will not be germinating and that will be called as dormant seeds. They are also called as a stress hormone as it stimulates the closure of stomata in stress situations. Stress situations means suppose if there's a plant and if it is too sunny, if it is very hot, the stomata which was open, they will close so that water will not be evaporating from the leaf surface. The transpiration rate can be reduced and so the plants can save that water. That's why it's also called as stress hormone. 